everyone. So today's video is going to be another unboxing of my Glossy Box for this month. It's been getting here super early. It's been here for at least two days. So the only thing I did so far was just open this one, you know, the shipping box. Um, but I haven't peeked or anything. So let's go ahead and open it. As you see, it's just a regular paint Glossy Box, nothing new, um, which I like. You know, I think it's super pretty. And as you guys know, I save all the boxes because they're very helpful with storage. Okay, so the card comes as always with the description of all the products. And I see that they went back to the original um, look that they used to have. Last month's Glossy Box was a little bit different. Um, but they went back to having the name of the product and a little description and then the price for the full size. So that's just very helpful for me when I'm trying to give you the box value. So starting off, I see this color protecting leave-in oil treatment and it's certified argan oil and olive oil with grapeseed extract and vitamin E. Um, it's a leave-in treatment. It's supposed to add softness and shine. Protects from thermal damage, speeds up drying time, revitalizes and repairs hair, seals and protects color, and it's enriched with omega-3, 6, and 9. And yeah, so it's 100% vegan, no animal testing, no parabens, gluten-free, no sodium chloride, and no synthetic dyes. I'm actually excited about this because I've been recently very much into like argan oil, but I've been using it on my skin at night. Ever since I cut my hair, I don't apply leave-in treatments or conditioner to my hair because I just feel like it weighs it down a lot. But now that I've gotten a couple more highlights in, I do feel like it's slightly drier. Now that, not that I feel like it's damaged or anything because I do feel like it's pretty healthy um, and I've cut off so much. I'm maintaining it pretty healthy. I use heat protectant and all that. But in order to keep it like that and healthy, I do add a lot of treatments sometimes, so I'll just like do overnight treatments. So this is something you know that I'm looking forward to try because um, you're supposed to only add a few drops into clean hair and then blow dry it. And if it protects it from the heat and has all these amazing oils, that should be pretty good. Okay, so next I'm just going to go with the other bottle in the box. It says it's the Allo Source, and so I guess that's the brand. And it's a jojoba radiance cleansing polish. And let me see what this does. Okay, so it says this multitasking sulfate free cleanser effectively removes makeup, oil, and impurities. Gently exfoliates with a combination of jojoba microbeads and alpha and beta hydroxy acids while nourishing aloe vera soothes the skin. So it's not, not tested on animals and it's paraben free. I'm excited because it does have. Well, first I like jojoba and I like aloe, anything natural like that I like, but I'm excited that it has the alpha and beta hydroxy acids, and those are just chemical exfoliants. So all the other scrubs that you can get, um, the grainy ones are for mechanical exfoliation. Whenever a product has alpha and beta hydroxy acids, those are just chemical exfoliants. So supposedly, and now I haven't tried this, are the ones that when you rub it onto your skin, it just removes that very fine old layer of skin. And usually you'll just see the skin peeling off into like round balls as you massage it. And it's not scary, it's not dangerous. It really just, if you use it right, it just takes off that very layer, very thin layer of dead skin cells. And what it does is after you do that, then when you apply your serums and your moisturizers, that baby skin underneath will absorb all the products a lot better. So I'm excited to try this. And moving on, and I'm going with the bigger products first. What I see is a makeup brush. And it looks like this. And it's by the brand Nika K New York. And we get products by this brand all the time in the Glossy Box. Um, which is fine. I have no issues with that. I actually, I think I've liked every product by this brand so far. So what this is, is just a regular blending eyeshadow brush, but it's very pretty actually, because I don't need makeup brushes at all. Honestly, I have a ton, but mine are just a regular black and um, silver color. 
This one's actually a lot prettier. Uh, let me just show you. I don't know how it's going to pick up, but it has kind of this like metallic brownish base. And this is kind of like a dark rose gold on top. Um, let me see how soft it is. The bristles are actually very soft. Now moving on into the fourth product, I see this duo eye pencil that looks like this. And it's by the brand Vincent Longo. Um, and it's made in Italy. So it's an Italian brand. Um, so it has two colors. On this side it says Aura Chic. And let me see what it looks like. So, it's very pretty actually. I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera, but I'm going to try to do close up so you can see. But it's like a rose gold color. It's gorgeous. So this is an eye color, um, eyeliner color, and it's called Aura Chic. And then on the other side, it's called Rich Topaz. And it's just a dark brown. Again, I don't think you're going to be able to see, but I'm going to try to do close-ups. Colors are gorgeous. And I do like that they have the jewel sides because I feel like you can do a pretty good makeup. I feel like you can use this one, which is like the rose gold under your eye, and then the dark brown um, above. So moving on into the very last product, which seems very lonely in the box because it's so black and everything else looks so black too. This is what it looks like. So it's right there. You can barely see it. But that's because it looks like it is um, a very dark black eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like right there. You just look at the consistency. It's very soft when you rub it on like this. And it's pretty pigmented. Let me see what the color payoff is. It doesn't go on as pigmented on your skin. Like right here it seems super black, but then when I apply it and I've gone over it like three times, it comes off kind of weird. It's not like a natural glide of black. It's like gray in some areas, black on others. So I'm not sure. I mean, your skin on your eye is different than on your hand. So using a primer and stuff, this could very much be different. But yeah, so I'll just give it a try on my okay, eyes. Guys, so that was my November glossy box. I really hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it was a pretty good value. I am not super excited about it, but I think the two products that I'm mostly excited about, or let me just say three. So I think the most exciting products out of the box are the leave-in oil treatment because it's natural, it has olive oil, argan oil, um, grape seed. So I'm definitely excited to try this out on my highlighted hair. Um, then the other one that should be good is this one. Again, this cleanser seems all natural. Um, it has the alpha and beta hydroxy acids and yeah, so this is, you know, could be a change to just switch it up from my regular cleanser. And then lastly, I am excited about this eyeliner because you get two shades, so it's perfect for traveling. Um, the colors seem pretty nice, and I can already picture what I would do with these. So I think this is cool. I mean, a pretty good value as well. So I think these are the three most exciting products out of the box. Not to say that these aren't exciting, but I just wasn't in need of an eyeshadow brush. And I'm not too excited about this black eyeshadow because the color payoff doesn't seem great. Okay guys, so that was it. Let me know if you want me to continue doing these unboxing videos. And also let me know other ideas for my other videos because your ideas are so helpful. First because I want to be making videos that you enjoy and then sometimes I'll go through phases where I have so many ideas and then I'll go through other phases where I just don't know what to film. So I always read your ideas and your requests. They are really helpful and I really appreciate them. So thanks so much for watching and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will be talking to you in my next video. Bye guys!